Hello, in this video, I will walk you through the choices your child has to annotate PDFs that are provided to you in the week of the glance. In our example I'm going to be showing you today, it is going to be the third grade level, but rest assured that all of the grade levels are going to be organized in exactly the same way. Okay, so on the week at a glance, you are going to see different links that will bring you to videos or to online resources, but then every once in a while, you're going to open one up, up and it's going to be a PDF. So for example, this link, same value, different model, if I click on that, it's going to open up just like this. So I can see it's a PDF. Now there's three ways that your student would be able to annotate on this PDF. You can choose to print it out on your printer at home and then they'd be able to use paper, pen and paper, pencil and paper to be able to annotate. You also have the ability to open this in a Google Doc and they can use their Google Doc to write in answers. Or you can use a tool called Kami in order for them to be able to annotate on their document digitally. All right, so let's take a look at printing. To print the document, what you would do is, first of all, make sure your mouse is moving somewhere, because if you leave your mouse and you don't have any activity, as you can see, the menu choices went away. So I'm going to need to make sure my mouse is moving. And then I can choose the print icon which will open up a different tab. And then once again, I will click on the print icon. And however your home is set up to print, the page will come up, the destination will be where you want it to be, and then you click print. All right, so that is one way, is to print the document. Another way is to open, click on this open with dropdown, and choose Google Docs. So when I open it in Google Docs, this opens up to be, first of all, my own copy of this. And then your child would be able to write and do whatever they need to do on the Google Doc. All right, so that's the second way. The third way to open up this uh, PDF would be inside of a tool called Kami. So you click on the drop down and then click Annotate with Kami. But in order for this selection to pop up, you first need to make sure that your child has the Kami extension installed on their computer. Watch and see and learn how to install Kami on your child's computer in case they do not have it. If you choose to use Kami for your child to annotate PDFs, please be sure to install the Kami app and extension on your Chrome browser. The links are included in the description below this video. So for this first example, you should see, once you click on the link for the Kami extension, you, the Chrome Web Store will open up, and this is what it looks like. What you will do is click on Add to Chrome, then click Add Extension, and now the extension has been added and you'll see this pop-up menu come up. And that's all you would need to do to install the extension. To install the app, the Kami app, what you would do is click on the link that's provided below. Then you click on Add to Chrome, Add App, and now the app has been added. And that is it. Just be sure that you are on Google Chrome when you do this. Thank you. All right, thanks for watching. Now let's take a look at what it looks like if you choose Annotate with Kami. All right, so this is going to open up in this tool called Kami. You might need to sign in again. It might prompt you to do that and make sure you're using your child's PISD credentials to do so. In order for your child to write on the document, you would click Drawing, and then you can start to write on it. As you can see here, now I'm not doing a very good job, but that's how you would write. And now this box is going to come up. 
Because you're not going to be the owner of the document, you will need to create a copy. So you click on Create Copy, and then that's it. And now you can draw. You can use different colors when you draw. Your child will also be able to put in numbers you can write, put in a text box. And you can do all kinds of things within Kami. All right, so those are your three choices. You can print, you can convert into a Google Doc, or you can open up and annotate inside of Kami. Thank you so much for watching.